So, hi everybody. Um, it's Saturday and I finally have a chance to start doing my vlog. I intended upon starting it last week, but then our cat, my brother Kitty, um, got really sick and we actually thought he was going to leave us, but as it turns out, he had... He has diabetes, and so we've spent this week trying to get him into a, you know, a groove, uh, you know, getting him used to his insulin, and, you know, he seems to be really responding well, so we're really excited about that. So I thought, since I had a little bit of extra time, that I would uh, start on my happy vlog. I'm so excited right now. OMG, <laughs> I am so excited. Um, I don't really know how to do this. I don't know about editing. I don't, you know, I, I really don't have much of an idea. I don't know. Um, but I know in my last post I talked about um, daily spiritual blogs, and I think that that's really cool. Um, but I had an idea today um, that I thought, oh, God, Normally, I'd never do this in a hundred years because I don't really, truly like putting myself in these kinds of places on purpose. Most of the time, I find myself in these kinds of places on accident. So, um, I think the only time I've ever, I might have done this twice, other two other times on purpose in my life. But, um, so today... I was sitting there trying to figure out what in the world to do because it's just kind of a lazy day and we're just kind of hanging out. And uh, I know I was kind of waiting for the Kentucky game to come on, but I'll keep updated on it today. Don't worry. <laughs> we're playing Florida. Go Cats! See Kentucky! Woo! Okay, anyway. So, uh, and I was just surfing and all of a sudden all of this information started coming up about haunted places in Chattanooga. And I thought, ooh. I didn't know there were haunted places in Chattanooga. Maybe I should have. I've been coming here my whole life and never do that. Um, so I thought, well, okay, let's pick one. What's it like being a medium at an actual haunted place? Uh, you never know what's going to happen today. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. So right now we're sitting in my lovely car. Hello, this is my car, and we're going to head out to uh, Chickamauga, Georgia. Here we go. Uh, so this should be fun. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm not afraid. There really isn't anything to be afraid of when it comes to spirits. And uh, at least that in my experience anyway, um, you know, when you work with light, you work with light. You know, and you don't have to worry about all that other sort of lower energies coming through as much. So that's pretty amazing. But purposely going to a battlefield, I don't know. I'm kind of, last time I did this, it was not pleasant. It was really scary. Um, but you never know. It's historic and we'll check it out. All right. So here we go. We're on the way. Chickamauga, Georgia back. Chickamauga, Georgia, at the Chickamauga Battlefield. I don't have a clue anything about it. Uh, I really don't. Uh, I know they fought battles there, uh, but I, other than that, I don't know any of the history. So maybe we'll find out some history while we're there. Awesome sauce. Here we go. Vlog number one. Oh. Hi. So I decided it might be a cool idea if we um, stopped for a second um there you have to cross this mountain called white oak mountain in order to get to chattanooga from my house and they have a beautiful scenic overlook that i thought i would share because i just have always loved it um normally when the trees are um all in you know bloom and you know in the middle of summer <laughs> or in the spring it's much prettier um but i just wanted to share it with you um but before i do that i kind of just also wanted to um 
kind of lay down a little bit about what it is to be a medium. Um, what is a medium? Well, a medium is a person who is sensitive to the energies that have transitioned from Earth. And that's about the simplest way I can explain it. Um, it basically just means that I get to experience a little bit more when I go to different places than, you know, other people. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've gone to all these different places. Like, um, I think the last official battlefield that I was at was at the Alamo. And uh, that was actually pretty interesting. I got a spirit gave me a guided tour at, at uh, the Alamo. Um, let's see where else. I, the other only other battlefield that I knowingly went to, but it actually it turned out to be an accident, was in Canada, in Quebec. Um, but I was going to see Paul McCartney, and, you know, I didn't realize it was going to be on a battlefield. <sighs> wow. <laughs> so, it was pretty draining. But, um, and I think the only other haunted place I purposely put myself in, um at least that I can remember is the uh, Lizzie Borden house, uh, which that was an experience and a half. Now, what does that mean? Well, for me as a medium, you have your regular senses, you know, your, your, your sight, your, you know, all of that stuff. But as a medium, you have sort of like, my friends call them superpowers because everything becomes enhanced and becomes heightened. So clairvoyance means to see, clairaudience means to hear, clairsentience means to feel. Um, and then there's also uh, clairgustance, which is taste. And then I forget the one for smell, but there's also for one for smell too, where you can actually experience spirit in this way. Myself, uh, I think, well, I actually think all mediums are clairsentient, which means they, they can feel. Um, you know, like if you've ever had a gut feeling or if you're in a spot that you're just like, man, I just don't like how this feels. I got to get out of here. That is actually clairsentience. You're actually feeling, you know, sort of that push, sort of that, no, nah, I don't think so. Um, you know, when you develop that, it actually becomes a little bit stronger than that. But so I, I'm clairsentient. Uh, I'm also clear audience, which means I can hear spirit. Um, but predominantly I can see spirit. So I'm clairvoyant and I see them just as plainly as I see, you know, the, you know, the person sitting next to me or something like that. So for me, when I go to these kinds of haunted, haunted, quote unquote, every step I take is haunted, but whatever. Uh, when I go to these kinds of places, it's interesting for me. Um, this happens to me at museums too, where I can actually not only see with my eyes what's going on in the immediate, but I can also kind of see another layer um, and experience things that actually happened in that space. Um, you know, most of the time that's actually residual energy that I'm experiencing, but sometimes it actually is spirit as well. Um, and it's kind of like Photoshop seeing like, you know, in Photoshop, you start with a bottom layer and then you add another layer on top and another layer on top. And so you finally get the finished image. And for me, that's what spirit actually shows me. So going to these kinds of places, that's why I was saying you never know what's going to happen because I have no idea what I'm going to be experiencing. Normally, if I'm willingly going into a space, I will actually power sort of myself down and ask my guides to not allow me to be overwhelmed or to be experiencing stuff that's going to really upset me or anything like that. But a long time ago... Um, well, I used to live in, in, in Massachusetts and I had to drive between Massachusetts to, um, visit my family in Tennessee and I'd pass a lot of civil war battlefields, you know, Gettysburg, Antietam, but since civil war history is not my gig, 
Honestly, I, I love Abraham Lincoln. He's my favorite president. But past that, I know Jack about the Civil War. I know I'm so horrible. Um, but in one of the drives that I was driving, my master guide, uh, who I call Roman, was like, you know, you really should actually allow yourself to experience this. Not not just because, you know, we want to scare the hell out of you or anything like that, but because it's a lesson, you know, anytime you get to experience something like this, there's always something new that I get to learn from spirit. And I think that that's fantastic. So that's why I'm willing to actually come out here and really just have some fun and learn some history and see what happens. Um, but this time I am not going to be powered down. I'm not going to be, um, uh, you know, I don't know how to call it. I always call it powered down, but there's no off switch ever. But I, I always call it, yeah, I'm not going to ask my guides to shield me from anything. I, I really want to be able to experience whatever it was that they want me to experience today because obviously this stuff started popping up for a reason and maybe it's something that spirit really wants me to learn. So, you know, with that, I really, 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 really am just, you know, so excited to be able to share it with you. Okay, let's see. I'm going to figure out how to turn my camera around. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go out. And you guys can see the mountain in the background. You literally had to pull off on the side of the highway to get over here. And I haven't done this in a long time. I think the last time I did this was with my brother when he was down here visitating from Illinois. But I gotta learn to turn my camera around. But here you can see in the background the beautiful mountains. And like I said, normally when the trees are all in full bloom, it's much more lush and much prettier. But, ooh, sun. Ooh. But I just wanted to pull over real quick and share this with you because next stop is actually the battlefield so whew, we got to see what's going on so here we go okay, so here I am almost all the way to the battlefield and I passed this uh, let me see if I can make it smaller there we go Chief John Ross now as I understand it um, just based on some of the signs, there's his home right there. Based on some of the signs I saw, this has a, a great deal to do with the Trail of Tears, which sadly, although is part of my heritage, I don't know too much about. So, I think that's going to have to be another blog for another time, but I just felt that it was important to stop um, and capture this. We're actually almost to the battlefield. I kind of took the long way around and I don't know why. But I just wanted to record this. I'm sure we'll find out more about this guy. Um, and uh, his, the significance of his presence on the Trail of Tears, which sadly, I hate to admit it, I don't know anything about. So anyway just wanted to get this on film back in the car hey guys I'm like a half mile away um, from the battlefield and my throat is just absolutely so dry I feel like I haven't drunk in days <laughs> my, can you hear it <laughs> my throat is just killing me um, but I wanted to record that we uh, passed into Georgia just before I stopped um, to see the house of the chief and now um, we're passing the 6th Calvary Museum <clears throat> excuse me and uh, we are here at the Chickamauga battlefield so here we are <laughs> Trail of Tears original route next three miles Whew. I can't, I gotta figure out how to turn my camera around, but here we are at the battlefield. Um, we literally just crossed by the sign. 
Um, In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Vitano Chickamauga Road. You can hear my GPS telling me to turn. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but this is this is insane. I feel like I can't breathe. Um, turn right onto Vitano Chickamauga Road. I don't know if um, you. Uh, I can't turn right, GPS. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Continue on Vitano Chickamauga Road for three quarters of a mile. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to exit that. Okay, so let's see. I think I might have just passed um, the uh, place to turn for the door. But, um, oh, I feel like I can't breathe. Uh, I mean, I know they had a battle here. But I actually really do smell gunpowder. And I can't. Um, it's hard to breathe. There we go. We're part of the battlefield. And as soon as I find a place to pull over, we'll pull over. But I don't know if you can see the cannons um, that they have. Uh, but it's we're surrounded by trees. And uh, the cabin is there. Right there. That looks pretty amazing, actually. Um, very historic place, but I know you can't hear me. So, uh, welcome to a little bit of what it's like being a medium on a battlefield. Uh, I can't, I feel like, um, uh, just can't breathe all of a sudden. And, uh, I know you can hardly hear me, but um, we're just, I'm just gonna tour through here with the car and let you guys see, and then we'll get out and hopefully that will um, help <laughs> a little bit. So I'm gonna be quiet and just let you guys check it out. marks the left of the division during the night of September 19th. It was ordered from this position to the extreme left by General Thomas. Sorry, you guys. Ooh. So, this is part of it. This is pretty amazing. Check out this. That's actually pretty amazing, too. Oh, there's some more signs. Woods. Should have worn my hiking boots. Buell's 
brigade. There are plenty of things to see up here on the battlefield. Ooh, pretty. I love little flowers. Uh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so you guys, here's the crazy thing. I just randomly pulled over on this spot, right? I was born in Illinois. Grew up near Joliet. And it just so happens. Can you read that? Illinois. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wow. <clears throat> so here we are. Where part of this happened. And, uh, this is intense, actually. I didn't think that it would be quite this intense, although that was wrong of me. I should have known. But, uh, wow. We're going to pause for a second. <coughs> oh. And then uh, we're going to regroup a little bit. Hold on. Hi. Uh, just wanted to um, check in. We're about to get in the car. Um, but uh, this is... This is pretty intense, actually. I just kind of wanted to, um, oh, there's more stuff to see over there. Just kind of wanted to give you guys um, a sense of what I'm experiencing. I know you could probably hear this. Now this, this throat thing literally started happening right before I got here, because you'll notice. I wasn't like this before I got here stomach. Actually, I have pain in my stomach. And it really hurts. Um, and uh, I get a very real sense of that sort of metallic smell. and I, I can't quite place it. I don't... I can't quite place it. I don't... I also smell gunpowder, but... That metallic smell is much stronger. I'm not exactly sure how many men passed away here. Um, and we're only in one part of the battlefield. Um, but I um, have to say, uh, this is pretty powerful. I also feel like I really can't breathe very well here. Um, it's not just one experience of, ex of experience of spirit that I'm feeling. It's several, um, and kind of lumped it together. And, uh, I don't really know how to explain that. I don't really. But, um, I need to learn some history about this place, huh? I'm going to go over there and check out um, the signs that are on the other side and then we'll get back in the car uh, because <laughs> it's um, an amazing experience. I always say working with spirit is a blessing because there's so much to learn. And, you know, you learn, you use that knowledge to, to help yourself in your own personal lessons that you have to work on in your life. But in places like this, 
or there's so much to experience. It feels like thousands of hands touching me all at the same time. Every one of them has something to say. And it's in those moments when you realize that I could stand here for years, I feel, and, you know, deliver their words nonstop and never be finished. It's very moving. To a point where I don't know if I have words to describe that. But it is a blessing to be able to <clears throat> share. Okay. Let's see what else we can see. So we're on the other side of the street now, <laughs> and I <sighs> feels like I'm walking over people. <laughs> uh, it's a little strange, but um, this is opposite from where we were, and I just want to see what these signs say, see if they give us some kind of a clue who was here before us. Oh! Six Battery Ohio Light Artillery. Anticipated. So, um, it's actually mind blowing to me. Uh, just exactly, well, firstly, how big this place is. But next, just how absolutely astounding it's just uh, I, I don't even uh, I don't even know I, I don't have words actually this was the hospital according to that sign we just passed and uh, I feel like there's a graveyard around here somewhere 
I usually get this one particular feeling whenever there is, and I really feel that strongly right now. I feel like it's over there somewhere, I'm not sure. Not just a battlefield graveyard, but something else. and all kinds of stuff stacked. I don't know if this place goes in a circle or not. I hope so. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't know how to get out. some stuff now, now that I've been here. These cannons look pretty okay. Let's see if we can stop and check it out. I have absolutely no idea what kind of cannons these are. I'm sure my brother will know. Because that's his gig, not mine. He does the gun thing. <laughs> He's weapons, dude. I'm peace and love, chick. <laughs> Apparently this was the Missouri Light Artillery. Oh, this does not feel good. And, uh, we've got some folks here that are hanging out, so I don't want to disturb them. But I don't like this spot. I feel like I need to leave. So we're going to go over here. Because <laughs> if I don't feel it, I can't do it. <sighs> September. Okay, September. Illinois again. Um, so maybe it wasn't cold, cold, but... I'm not sure how long the campaign lasted. Definitely worth looking up though. Yeah, I don't like this spot. So I think we're gonna move on. Okay guys, back to recording. fell. I'm not sure who Little is. He might have been an important person though. Little's Brigade. Probably could have gotten out to walk, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel somehow a little safer in my car. <laughs> Oh gosh, I wish my throat would stop. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This is this is just a little overwhelming. But 
it's actually pretty cool historically as well because it's going to make me want to look up all this stuff now. <laughs> yeah, I had absolutely no idea anything about this place. And, uh, everything is just mind-blowing, actually. Uh, I know you're probably looking at this footage and going, what the hell is so mind-blowing? But for me, I'm seeing it in multiple layers and hearing it in multiple layers and I don't really know genuinely how to explain that except to say that for me, probably maybe for some other mediums who can actually connect via the images that you're seeing. This is actually, you know, it really does touch all the senses. <clears throat> and I just am, I think I'm going to go straight. Just floored. Being able to smell. I still smell that metallic smell, and I don't know if that's artillery or if it's something else. I have this strange taste in my mouth, but again, my throat is so dry, I feel like I haven't eaten or drank in years. I just feel very much like, uh, like I'm going into this space terrified and uncertain on one aspect and then terrified and confident on the other. I don't understand that. But I feel it, so I gotta go with it. Number one rule of being a medium is if you, if you experience it, if you feel it, then that is your real, true, valid experience and you have to go with it. Because you're having it for a reason. And you may never know what that reason is. But somewhere, some way, it makes sense. Maybe even to somebody else. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not feeling so hot, guys. I'm a little nauseated. South Carolina Monument, so this must have been, wow, they have people from everywhere. I did not realize that. Maybe I should have, and I told you I'm very ignorant when it comes to the history of the Civil War. I don't, uh, I learned a lot about the Revolutionary War living in New England, in Massachusetts, but, uh, living um, down here and been coming down here most of my life and never really knew anything about any of this. I was never interested in it. <laughs> you know, I always thought that, you know, slavery should have just never existed. Why did you have to fight a whole war over it? Then when you consider some of the things that are going on now, it, you know, anyway, enough on that. So, um, let's see, this sign says tour to the right, so let's go to the right. I guess somehow we picked up the tour trail. <laughs> but, I've asked, and I have to admit this, I've asked my guys to kind of help me with the Claire audience a little bit because... It's incredibly overwhelming to see things lying on the ground and people lying on the ground and I, I just I can't take that anymore so I asked them to sort of scale that back for me. Ooh. 
Ooh, this looks interesting. I think we'll stop here for a minute. I don't know. Don't want to get out. <laughs> don't really want to. There's a lot of people here. But I guess we can check out this cabin right here. Hold on. Apparently, this was called the Snodgrass House. Pretty cool. Very small. Let's go see if this has anything to say about it. No wonder I didn't want to get out, guys. Apparently, this cabin served as a field hospital. No wonder, you guys. Apparently, a guy named George Snodgrass and his family lived here. Um, on the second day of the battle, Union forces made a desperate stand in the woods and fields surrounding the cabin, forcing the family to take cover in a nearby ravine with other refugees. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That kind of puts in perspective. Kind of exactly why I asked them to scale things back for me. No wonder I didn't want to get out. <laughs> no wonder. Thousands fell as Confederates attacked Union positions on Snodgrass Hill. It was some of the war's bloodiest fighting and the Snodgrass cabin soon filled with wounded. So this was a field hospital. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up, seriously. <laughs> Very nauseated before we came up here, guys. I think I said that. And now we know why. So for this, we're going to be grateful that we experienced it, but we're gonna ask for it to go away now. And we're gonna continue on our journey. Okay guys, I think we're back at the beginning. Uh, we've actually made a complete circle around the battlefield. And it's some parts through the battlefield. Kentucky. Should probably check on the game. Um, I think we're headed back to the right spot. Maybe I should have turned the other way, I'm not sure. I just wanted to get a few last images before we left. Yeah, probably should have turned the other way. <laughs> That's all right. That looks like the visitor center.
looks like our tour of the battlefield is complete. I couldn't step out there actually any further onto the battlefield than what I already was because it was pretty difficult um, given everything I was experiencing and after that last building we went to we kind of need a break so gotta find something fun to do down here don't know what that is but we'll find it whatever it is a little pause for the cause while we figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> hey guys, um, we're still a little less than a mile away. I'm at the light um, on Battlefield Parkway and Lafayette Road and I realized, holy crap, I forgot water. Water is the most important thing and I can't believe I forgot it. <laughs> That's just someone like me. Um, but it says there's a state park this way, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to check out. Um, well, maybe. It depends. If I have to climb a mountain, we ain't going. <laughs> one, one stressful thing enough isn't, you know, enough for me today. Um, but I hope you got at least some sense of what it's like. I know I really didn't describe an awful lot, but mostly because how do you describe seeing something gory like that? It, you know, sometimes people become desensitized to it a little bit, and that, I'm not one of those people. Um, I'm actually curious to learn more about the history of where we just were. So I definitely will do some research and you should too. Um, just check it out. But now we are in Walker County, Georgia. And uh, just um, going for a little ride. I think I got off on the wrong fork, but that's okay, who cares? <laughs> Today it all counts. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, that was an equally strange and humbling experience at the battlefield for me because um, you know, when you encounter something that your people fought for what they believed in and whether or not you agreed with it is not really the point you know, I happen to agree with North sorry <laughs> but you're at a place where someone fought for what they believed it's sometimes that energy is really palpable and you almost almost tangible in a way actually now that I think about it we're actually still pretty close to the battlefield. I just saw a sign that says I could turn. But, um, I still feel like I don't really have my whole voice yet. But, um, yeah, next time we go on one of these excursions, I will not forget water. <laughs> Oh no, it says entering Chickamauga Battlefield. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no wonder we're going back. Okay, I'm going to have to turn around. I think we're done for the day. There's only so much. Oops, this road's closed. Only so much. Um, I can actually put myself through. I can't do it anymore. Uh, but to be able... I was actually purposely trying to connect to see if perhaps I could get one spirit to just come through and maybe give us a name or, you know, something like that. And there's just too many. It's just too many. Uh, being able to fill...
filter all of that information uh, bless their hearts I really just a part of me really just wanted to stay there all day and, and just do nothing but take notes and write stuff down and that's what I used to do when I lived in Boston and I would come across something um, you know a historical place like I remember one time there was this place in Cambridge, and I didn't have any idea that it was connected to the Revolutionary War at all. And I just kept, it was just on my way to work. And I would walk down the sidewalk, and at the end of the sidewalk stood a soldier, a soldier in spirit. And finally, one day, I just asked his name. <laughs> like, who are you? Why are you standing here? So I do actually like to get that kind of information, but here there was just so much. Uh, I, so much. So we're going to do a little Yui up here and come back. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I hope Maybe I gave you a little bit more of an understanding <clears throat> about some of the things that mediums can experience. You know, I still feel pretty yucky, actually. And as soon as I am away from this battlefield, because <laughs> we're still here, I am going to call in the angels, especially Archangel Michael, and we are going to clear my energy in my aura just to be sure that there aren't any hangers on. I didn't pick up anything residual. So, um, but I want to get off the field first. Keep turning back on the blessed thing. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, oh, funeral. Excuse me, guys. Hold on. They don't do this up north in New England. Down here in the south, when you see a funeral, firemen, policemen, you pull over. I don't know if you can see the car behind me is pulled over, the car in front of me is pulled over. And we just want to show a sign of respect. It's important. Lots of folks. Well, guys, we're leaving Georgia. How do I know that? Because there's a sign up there. Tennessee, the ball state. Welcome to you. Uh, yeah, we're about maybe three or four miles away from the battlefield. And uh, as you can tell, you could actually probably hear me now a lot better. Um, you know, uh, we pulled over for. Uh, the funeral to go by and uh, I really just wanted to get away from the battlefield because I kept feeling um, well I guess bombarded is a good word I kept feeling like there was so much that wanted to come through um, and trying to sort through all of that would have been you know a really difficult thing to do not impossible just difficult and um, I just kept feeling like there was just so much so many things that needed to be said and eventually uh, I've asked spirit to come back and just tell me what it is um, separately uh, just to kind of get out of that energy on the battlefield um, so I'm perfectly willing to work with them separately uh, you know taking notes and stuff like that but I just wanted to we're in Tennessee now uh, I just wanted to um, make a really short Welcome back to Tennessee video because I forgot to get it where the little teeny tiny sign that says Georgia State Line. <laughs> Welcome to Georgia. There was no sign. <laughs> so it's just little bitty teeny tiny road sign that said Georgia State Line. <laughs> it was funny. But yeah, Chattanooga uh, is, is, well, I guess literally right there at the Georgia border so when I said we were going to Chickamauga Georgia you probably were like what the hell is she going to Chattanooga for that's why uh, <laughs> so really I knew where I was going mostly <laughs> I don't know for surely but yeah hey 
That's why God invented GPS. Anyway, um, I don't know where we're heading next, guys, but hopefully it'll be fun. Pardon me, boys. Is that Chattanooga Choo Choo? That's how I know that song. Uh, guess what? We're at, actually, the Chattanooga Choo Choo. It's actually, um, there's a big choo-choo train on top of it, but it's a hotel. And if we go around the side, you can actually see the choo-choo. I thought this would be kind of fun to see. <laughs> so, hold on a second. We're going to go around the side. So it's not really a getting, I mean it is a getting out place, you can actually go on those trains right there, but you gotta pay for it, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Oh, track 29, I guess that's part of the lyric, but this is actually the famous Chattanooga Choo Choo. It really does exist, I'm not joking. I say this all the time to people and they never say, oh no, it's just a song. No, it really is. There, there it is, right there. Choo choo. <laughs> Last time we were here, uh, it was a wicked long time ago though, it was me and my mom and my brother and we were able to um, go on there and we sat down and had pizza on, on board the Chattanooga Choo Choo, so that was pretty cool. But uh, I just wanted to kind of get something else <laughs> on this first vlog of mine something fun. Look, it's an engine. Can you see the big old sign? No, oh, maybe you can't. There it is. Choo -choo. Hi everybody. Um, so let's see, what did we do today? <laughs> we went to the battlefield, we went to the choo-choo, and now I'm sitting out in the parking lot of a friend of mine and, um, about to go visit but um wow what an experience right um well at the very least I'm glad that I was able to take you guys to the battlefield and so that all of the history buffs out there and maybe even the civil war history buffs could actually experience it if they've never been there I know we just kind of drove around in a circle mostly but um Still, I think it was pretty cool, you know, uh, just to be able to show that to you. Um, but, you know, psychically speaking, good Lord, um, a lot, a lot <laughs> went on more than I can even put into words. Um, but the field hospital kind of really did me in after that. I was ready. I was ready to go uh, before that. But, um yeah, I didn't even want to get out of the car there, and we did, and I just felt so sick, and, you know, sticking my hand in there was, <sighs> I don't know if it was visible uh, in filming, and I'll find out later when I watch, but uh, my hand was actually shaking. I really wanted to vomit, um, so I had no idea what I was witnessing or feeling, um, but once we read that sign, obviously it became apparent to me that, yeah, I, I was done for the day. I can only take so much, guys. So, um, but I really hope that, you know, we get to do stuff like this more often on the vlog. I don't know if we'll get to do daily uh, experiences or not. We'll have to see. Um, going to places like that can be draining, especially when you're completely wide open like I was and just open to the experience. Um... But maybe next time we'll be able to better, not better connect, but because believe me, uh, I probably could have just blah, 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 and still be talking, um, with messages, but, um, but maybe we'll pick a place next time where we can actually connect with one <laughs> person over there and see what's going on. Um, but you know, you never know. We're going to take what we get and be grateful for it and be grateful for the lesson and for the experience. But now I'm going to call upon Archangel Michael, all the ascended masters, archangels, guides, masters, loved ones, and master Jesus, father love, please come and clear my energy, my aura, 
please leave us all safe and secure with love and light and blessings and give blessings to everyone who took the time to go on this adventure with uh, with me and with you and thank you so much Ooh. <sighs> love and healing to all of you and I hope that you enjoyed and if you got any ideas or any comments please post please subscribe please whatever <laughs> hopefully we can um bring more experiences like this to you guys and I know honestly if I had had some of these you know things to explain to me when I was first learning maybe I would have um I don't know, maybe it would have done me a world of good I don't know <laughs> it took me a while when I first started on this path I was totally clueless uh it was just me and one spirit and uh who was pretty much guiding me through it um and now it's yeah it's you know almost 11 years later and there's so much that I've learned that I just really think I should share with everyone because you know there's got to be at least one person out there like me who didn't you know didn't know what to think and is totally lost and completely clueless <laughs> So if I can help, please let me. And it's my great, 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 great privilege and blessing to be able to do that. Um, so thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me today. Uh, so from Chattanooga, um, I'm going to say peace and love. Peace, peace, peace and love. And many blessings. Love you guys.